Village Radcast is just about it. Uh, you have to get something pretty quickly, as we are heading straight in here. Slight difference in opinion, it seems, as to which way we start around here. That's unfortunately nothing in uh, Link's house here to help Ryrek out. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to be going south here, getting a kill, and then going to be using one of the... Uh... Not really a tree pole, but a pole of some kind to get some kind of potential bomb out of this to see if he can maybe open up that hive cave. Right. Location. There is also the same pole tree that you would normally check in uh, regular modes is available as well. There's uh, where, but Bonza does not seem to have gone that way. Yeah, right. Like this is key sanity. There's no item. There's no thing on the map that you can see there. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy mistake to make. Let's be honest. Maybe he just wanted to look at the map, just to make sure he was uh, on the right, in the right world. Yeah, you know what? He he can confirm he is in Dark World, that is for sure. Meanwhile, Bonto going for the front of Skullwoods first here. We'll see what sort of item he gets here. Fantastic uh, room there. No bother with the Gibdo, just a red rupee for Ryweck from Stunkid and a compass. Not particularly useful, let's be real. And it's the Gans Tower compass as well, so it's even more not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, with any luck, they won't even have to... Oh, here we go. 20 rupees, 5 arrows, let's go. It's an arrow game, it's a gift from Stumpy. Let's hope he doesn't uh, squander it here. Now, fun little Easter egg on this one. If you actually shoot the same, a uh, nice grab over there. If you shoot the same uh, one of the targets with all five arrows, you get a massive bonus at the end. Of it. I think it's a nine. Mm -hmm. Is it like nine, nine rupees you get at the end of it? Uh, yeah, I want to say it's max. So yeah, or what, it would, what would be max insane. in the original yeah. game anyway? Fantastic uh, pickup for rupees there. Ryuk will not be hurting for that anytime soon. Meanwhile, Bonzo going through the front of our skull would still like the actual front this time. Getting this out as a small key to pod. Six of those in the pool, definitely want to grab them. Yeah, I tend to see a lot of uh, skull woods uh, starts uh, for uh, in inverted uh, helps that there is a place where you can get some bombs, so that way you can potentially check Hive Cape right after this yeah. if you don't find anything else. Absolutely. And it's not... Oh, nice glove for Ryback there. That can be progression mm -hmm. in this. Yeah, sure can. So it's kind of interesting seeing Bonta just straight save quit there, as opposed to maybe taking a death and getting a couple of extra bombs. Because with only 20 rupees here, it's not as if you can actually buy more bombs than the current resources, right? So yeah. uh, you need two bombs to do Hype Cave. If there's no more here, then you've still got like one for the brewery that you would need. So mm -hmm. meanwhile, Ryweg, using the money that he's picked out, getting the bombs, this is another fairly standard thing you would see in uh, Inverted. Most of the time, you want to grab bombs as close as you can. Green potion, more maps. <laughs> More maps, okay. All the maps. Add the bombs back. All right. Well, at least he got uh, got some extra bombs to work with. That's not too bad, I guess. So let's see if we get a bit of a. Okay, maybe not getting a map check right now, but at some point we will probably. Yeah, I'm actually kind of well. I would say kind of surprised. I'm, I guess neither of them going into Village Valcast to get anything so far isn't too bad because, as you're saying, the Skullwood stuff does give you a lot of uh, lot of benefits. But I suppose if you weren't able to do the Arrow game quite as much, you'd probably have to do Village Valcast a bit quicker than this. Yeah, definitely. Because it's not. Like, there is a trick to it, but it's still something you actually do have to practice in order to to make it work here. Maybe that's one of the reasons why Inverted was, like, selected here specifically, because I think Ryweck was the one who chose that. So, yeah. maybe knowing I can always get money from the, the Arrow game here. But of course, anything Ryweck can do, Bonto can most likely do as well. Because these are, in you know, finalist players after all. They are absolutely fantastic runners. So... Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, Bonta, the very first uh, winner of the very first uh, Francophone tournament, and runner-up in the second one. So he's that he, he, he's been in this position before. Yep. 
Oh, Castle Tower Smokey with a glove pickup as well. The lamp would give Dark World, uh, not, yeah, Death Mountain, basically Dark World Death Mountain access right now, which would allow that Castle Tower key to come into play. Mm hmm. You know, still definitely a couple of items away from finishing it, but uh, also find the flippers here as well. That one I'm not quite as big a fan of in this mode, because that usually ends up meaning one of two things with it. If you find the fire rod early enough as well, that is highly likely that Ice Palace is something, which is never a great thing to have to do. Mm -hmm. And the other option is if you uh, if you don't find something that way, you've still got to go over to the east side anyway and go and do... Palace of Darkness, which is very annoying to do in Key Sanity because of money issues. Not even Key Sanity, just in Verse in general. Yeah. Uh, very annoying to do early on. Ooh, Ice Rod. Hmm. Well, that wasn't the rod you were talking about, but... Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, what are the rods? <laughs> that definitely does not let you do Ice Palace. <laughs> <laughs> the, the name might let you think otherwise, but no. <laughs> Many have tried. None have succeeded. <laughs> Just gotta be careful here because these uh, Sasax can go directly underneath the platforms. You don't get to see them, and it's just instant two hearts. And oh, whoops, I died. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, this is just the kind of the thing with Inverted. You have to be very, very careful early game because you're diving these Dark World dungeons, dungeons where quite literally things can probably one shot you in a lot of cases with only like three Ooh. hearts. Uh, that bowfine from Rywag, that could actually push to pod uh, quite a bit here. And you know the other neat thing with that bow is that the green poultry effect, uh, tier that uh, Rywag picked up, but Bonta did not, was actually 40 arrows. So mm -hmm. he has ammo for that, whereas Bonta will not if he goes through so far. Okay, I yeah, he, started yeah, to write use it. one That's arrow. One arrow. Okay, uh, make it count. <laughs> Does look like Ryweck's gonna go up and check uh, just kind of the early Skull Woods checks first, though, which does make sense. I mean, especially in Key Sanity, there are actually a lot of checks in Skull Woods, so. Right. And the other really good thing about doing this is that he can kind of just keep going after this, right? He doesn't have to necessarily save quit. You can always check what Bumper Cave is. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a bit harder to get to in Inverted because you've got to use the mirror from the Light World. But it's still a check that can be done, and, you know, might see it. Probably won't, I'd imagine, because the flippers, you don't have to do any sort of crazy tech to uh, to get across in here. So, yeah, Ooh. I don't know. We'll see what he does, but... Oh, no. Oh, that's that not, good. not good. Um... There's no way around that, so he's going to oh, actually try oh, and use iframes. Can he do it? Oh, not, not quite. quite. Mm. The door transition just took a yeah. bit too long there. Yep, unfortunately that happens in quite a few games where your invincibility frames don't, like, stay as you are, you know, going through transitions and such like you'd expect. Gipto's just suck. <laughs> they do. <laughs> oh, is that what the purpose of the arrow is? I actually never knew there were bombs underneath some of those, like, you know, 50% bomb chance or whatever. That's kind of nuts. Ah, Ryback mm. is getting the business here. Ooh, big key. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Why oh, does that side post miss? I don't understand. <laughs> Like, he threw it directly at the the pterodactyl, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I've seen that happen way too many times. Yeah, same. <laughs> so both players having a little bit of issue with stuff here. Um, again, we've said before, Inverted is very, very difficult at the start, and this is just more evidence for it. Mm-hmm. It looks like... Oh, and of course, oh. he's not blocking the door that oh, no. oh, man. Yeah, this is this is pretty rough for, for Bonsi. At least he's managed to get through now. Um, 
right, right. Picking up the full magic, knowing, of course, having the ice rod, definitely very helpful. Uh, blue pull tree looks to be small magic, so Vanta does not have access to the same amount of arrows as. Uh, he has five, though. It's pretty, uh, pretty useful pickup from the front of Heat's Town. Okay. So having dealt with that, uh, Ryweck is going to be going through the front of Skullwood stuff now. Bonza using the bow, making sure he knows where he is in the dark run and dark stuff here. Uh, fun fact, when Inverted first came out, the bats that were in there, was st uh, in that cave, were still treated as Dark World bats. Yeah. So they actually did the full two hearts of damage to you. That has been changed in uh, you know very fairly early on, and they they act as light world ones now. So you only take a quarter damage on them. But yeah, they were pretty brutal when you first came through here. Mm -hmm. A very welcome change indeed. <laughs> yes, for sure. Considering how often you do get forced up Death Mountain at the start of these seeds, yeah, absolutely. So there is your other look at what Inverted does. You see the red portal there for basically where it would be in the light world. It's now a portal in the dark world instead. However, the light world does not let you uh, do anything if you are a bunny because you don't have the moon pearl. And that's one of the big challenges of Inverted is where do you get the moon pearl from? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like staying in logic here. Okay. And he, you, you may think that Bonta has the Moon Pearl, but no, like, his sprite is the Mog. Uh, <laughs> Celeste is actually the bunny sprite with this sprite. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's, is it the opposite way around for the... Because uh, Celeste is the sprite as well, right? I believe so, yeah. I believe so, that is the case. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we do now... Well, Bonta now has a save up on the mountain as well, so it's possible at basically any point that Bonta can just get back up to... Uh, Dark World Death Mountain on the west side, so no issues there. Wyrick, using the glove flipper combination here, gonna check Catfish early. Uh, pretty reasonable option considering we really don't have a lot to go on right now. Yeah, and you know, we've, we've seen Catfish have, you know, a lot of value in some races in the past. This is not a location you want to leave till too late and have your last item be here, so... Not a bad idea to check oh, it, and we do boy. get something from it, too. Okay, so the book is a lot more important in Inverted than it is in Standard Modes, because the... The thing with Inverted, right, is that normally there's a lot of places where you either use the mirror to go from... Light, well, Dark World to Light World, or you can, in Randomizer, you can kind of uh, cheese a couple of bits, like Misery Maya, where you can actually use the mirror to go into Desert Palace instead of using the book itself. In Inverted, you can't actually do that, because the Light World mm. is the Dark World. The mirror goes from light to dark, not dark to light. So those places that you know, you would normally mirror to in certain logic uh, situations, you have to have the standard item for it. Uh, Tower yep. of Hera is another good example, right? Because you need to have the hammer to hammer the pegs at the top, and the hook shot, I think, as well. To Yeah. Well, no, Titan's Men and the Hammer can work as well, but you need the hammer to get to Tower of Hera, which is normally something you would use the mirror for. So... Yeah, it's very interesting how that works out. We're just uh, because it's inverted, literally like desert, which has a multitude of ways you can get in, only has one way now. And you know, an area like Misery Mire is less gated than it would be otherwise. So right, yeah, because you can use the flute to get over there. Yeah. All right. So having seen nothing particularly important on the pyramid, Ryweck is uh, using the money here to go over to. Past darkness. This is the he's the logical location that uh, can be accessed right now because again, Ice Palace. There's no uh, way of doing anything in there right now. So yeah, this has to be the way forward. And this is another one of those situations. If these players weren't, I mean, I'd, I'd struggle here because I can't do the uh, the jet the arrow game. If these players were um, were let yo, know, that's all the way with this. This would be a really difficult seed to go through because there hasn't been that much money, and you need the money to progress here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. 
I mean, even the glove that would get you to Death Mountain for sequence break and stuff, that's locked behind the uh, the shovel game. So you still need money for that, too. Yep. So we are definitely going to find something here, because again, like you said, just did not really get anything from our climb on Death Mountain. So there's got to be just... Well, there's the lamp to get up to Death Mountain. But... <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's that's a way of uh, progressing the scene here. So, mm. ironically, if Bonto actually kept going with the sequence break stuff and went uh, through some more of it, might have been might have been better off. It's possible Castle Tower is actually what we need though, uh, because that one key that we picked up, there are two chests in that dungeon now that can be got, not just the one. So. It's not a guarantee that uh, Bonto would have, you know, been able to keep going. Big key for Thieves Town. Oh, oh boy. No. <laughs> this is the game we're playing. <laughs> okay. So we actually can't beat Thieves Town right now because there's no hammer, Samaria, Cane of Burner, or a sword. So Blind is not defeatable in this situation. But there are still two items that could be checked in there. So yeah, we're just going to go back to Thieves Town, get the Fire Rod, go to Ice Palace to get a weapon to kill Blind, and then we'll be fine. And then the Moon Pals at Blind? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I like the way you think. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make it happen, Hundo. Okay, so here's one thing for, for Bonta needs to get the arrows here first, because again, having not pulled the tree uh, initially, there's no arrow pick up there, so yeah, running a lot lower than Rywark was. So I think Rywark's probably going to have to take a death wolf here, right? If he wants to do any more Yeah. Stuff. After he farms up on some more arrows. Yep. Nicely done. Yeah, Bonds is also setting up for the same death warp here. Very slightly risky to do that first in case you get a full heart refill, right? But Oh, mm -hmm. not restocking on the arrows either. Okay. I wonder if this is kind of why uh, Ryweck chose like this combination of modes. Like he's like kind of familiar with just kind of like the ins and outs of where you can restock stuff in like kind of this early dark world state. So yeah, it's possible. I mean, Ryweck has been known to do a bunch of crazy modes before and in, uh, in all sorts of situations. So I'm not too surprised in uh, in that aspect. Mm -hmm. Now, one, I guess, thing to note here, being in Key Sanity, they have had to open the front door in mm -hmm. pods, so they are going to need a fifth key in order to make sure they can get everything in here. Uh, it's, like, logically, you do need all six to clear the dungeon, but if you... Oh, there's the moon pile, okay. Uh, you can actually beat this dungeon with four keys if you don't open the front door and just, like, loop around a bunch of times. But because they didn't have the hammer or the mirror to... No, no it had to be the hammer, basically. If they didn't, yeah. if they didn't have that, uh, they had to go ahead and open that door. So an extra key is going to be required here. And we're going to see a hammer young, probably from both players here, to be honest, to get the two extra items over here. Uh, a little bit annoying to have to come back for the big chest, but it's really far away there, is that? I mean, obviously it works, he's got a set, but it's very easy to just, you know, go too far over with the, the bomb set up here. Well, we do get a small key to Skull Woods. <laughs> Yeah, Small Key to Skull Woods is usually not one of the ones you need to see, but it's always nice to have one, just to be sure. Especially because they both took the key from the back part in order to do the front area, so... Yeah, it's, it's not like a... Well, even, a, even like a Misery Mire Small Key is okay, too, because it allows mm -hmm. you to route it efficiently, but... Yeah, you're not going to necessarily hate getting a Skull Woods Small Key if you haven't beaten it yet, because it could definitely make no. some things a little faster. Okay, did, I guess, did Bonta not check the bottom bit here? Probably, that'd be my guess. Yeah, because I think he caught up the Ryback a little bit, so I think he just skipped the... 
that stupid jelly is the absolute <laughs> worst. It doesn't matter what you try to do. If you just go normally through there, it will uh, it will electrify the moment you try and dash through it. If you're doing you know if you're doing things as they are at the moment, it will move over to that spot to prevent you from jumping down quickly. Worst placement, yeah. seriously. Okay, so we are actually about tied up again. Bonta does have a little bit of a head start just because he's already done the old man stuff and everything already, but uh, still pretty pretty close. I think kind of the main difference is all those deaths Ryweck took and trying to get the big key chest in Skullwoods. Yeah, the Skullwoods uh, Skullwoods big key chest was absolutely horrendous on Ryweck's end. We saw Bonta got that first try, so even with the overworld death that Bonta took to the uh, Murdered at all. That's the difference is still kind of uh, kind of apparent here. But hey, yeah, plenty of time left yet. Oh, yep, yeah, gotta get one more shot in there. Uh, four arrows takes out the ball and chain guards. Uh, Ice rod does not work on these guys. Okay, I actually didn't know that. It one shots the regular blue guards, but I guess these are special blue guards or something. I don't know. That's like not an effect of like the hard mode thing, is it? Or... Oh, it might be. No, that's hard fun. That would be functionality. Right, um, right. Yeah, the, you, right. In, in the old hard mode, that would have been, like as you say, a function of it, because they, they there wasn't a separation. But no, they're playing hard item pool, not item functionality, so it should Right. Be, unless it's a comp, unless they've actually just done both. Um, which I suppose is possible, but... I didn't look like there was anything useful in that castle tower, though. You know what? I actually don't blame my wife for going for this heart at the moment. You're on. You're in inverted. You don't have any extra hearts right now. This is absolutely reasonable. It is one that Bond mm -hmm. to skipped, but yeah, still reasonable here. So I want to say that because of just uh, you know of all the places we've checked at this point, like we're literally tr having to get to. Uh, Super Bunny Cave <laughs> to get our How did he not get hit there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, Super Bunny has to be the has to be the play here, surely. So second glove or hammer would probably be the reasonable assumption here. Yep, yep. there we go. And can of burner, okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Ryback, we'll get these things in due time, and now we can actually start doing your typical light bulb stuff. So, yep, that is our full dark world access. So, or well, light world access. <laughs> it's it's the same. It's all confusing when it comes to this. Yeah, like, <laughs> because uh, yeah, it literally is flipped around. That's the whole point of it being an inverted map, but. Uh, that doesn't half make it confusing when you're trying to think of, uh, <laughs> of the locations to go. It's like, oh, I'll just, I'll just, I need the mirror before I get to Graveyard Ledge. So oh, no, you don't, because they've got a staircase. Here is a really good first chat. This is something that was, I had to stop myself from being silly about earlier. Eastern the Tower of Hera, the 5 6. Uh, because Link's House has moved into the Dark World, the bomb shop is now in the Light World instead. And. Yeah, I almost, I was almost like, I don't know why they're not checking the the five six crystal thing here, but of course they didn't have access to it. So, right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I wait, taking the death as well after getting nothing in the castle tower. Sort of surprising that there wasn't anything in there, given the way the seed was set up. But I guess having, you know, the final part of light world access in uh, Super Bunny had to be one of the two, really. So. Yeah, and I mean. Aga Tower closer to you than Super Bunny, and then also you don't have to deal with Lynels on the way to it. So. You sure don't. Man, these Lynels are butts. <laughs> when you're going, you don't have Tempered Sword or Silvers or something that way. Alright, so we're going to see Bonta go through the front of Escape here as well. And I say definitely when you have your kind of light world access like this, this is what honestly can really kind of determine who's going to actually take a 
early advantage in these types of seeds because you got to imagine all those sphere one locations from like a normal open game they're now like all in logic now for Bonta and Ryweg now so they have a lot of stuff they can check so there's just so much about. and just the order in which you approach that could really swing the direction of this match in one way yeah now here is an interesting play from Ryweg he was thinking about doing this on the other side I think and it was like no actually I don't want to face a finals he's actually going to go for Spike Cave here with the Cannon Burner play uh, very interesting you gotta imagine, if there's something good here, Bonten might not get this for a very long time, right? It's gonna be, um, well, hard to call it a one-off since he is on a mountain, but still, yeah, it'll be a while for sure, I imagine. So he has a green potion, ground. that's that's probably what he's gonna use with uh, with this as well, because I don't think you can make it on, uh, you know, on, you know, walking speed here with just Canaberna. Yeah, it'll go out, like, while he's lifting the rock, so I think he will have to use yeah. one. That's not how you want to do it, no! Oh my goodness, I am amazed that worked <laughs> out. Like... Oh, oh the my fire God. rod! Whoa! Okay, that is one heck of a play. Okay, so the reason I was so worried about that is because I was expecting the invincibility frames to run out as the potion was uh, being drunk, and he only had one heart, so he would have been right. KO'd by that. Uh, one play that you can do with that, there is, uh, behind each of the torches there, there's actually a very small strip of, uh, of land, I guess, that does not have spikes on it, so you don't take damage when you are literally, like, the pick, you know, hugging the potion, uh, the torch there, so you can use the potion without worry at that specific spot, and, uh, that's usually where I would see it be used, but, now apparently, uh, Vyweg doesn't need to worry about that, so okay. Now I'm hoping for Bonta's sake that the small key is in Dark Cross here, because if it is, he can just go straight through to the end of this and then end up going towards Kakariko. No such luck, unfortunately, but... And that's a pretty big bet to make at Key Sanity as well. <laughs> it is, but, you know... Yeah, it, 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 can definitely, <laughs> it can definitely be there. I'm not doubting that. Just... <laughs> but yeah, as we mentioned, like that spike cave location, that fire rod, it could be a while before Bonta gets that. And fire rod, you know, that's, you know, the back of Skull Woods entrance. We can't beat that, obviously, because no sword. Um, but uh, there's, you know, ice palace, as we talked about, too. So there could be some stuff if. Uh, in those locations. Oh god, they could actually do a lot in Ice Palace, couldn't they? <laughs> yeah, they could. <laughs> oh man. So using those bush crab arrows over here to uh, try and shoot. Arrows are kind of more annoying than like a fire rod shot to go is because the projectile is smaller, so it's... Mini Moldoms are very whimsical and do not mm -hmm. care about your wants, so... Funny... Sword. sword. Okay. No, like, what was it? Fifty minute sword this time. <laughs> <Close to that. laughs> I, so, that... I I I wouldn't be surprised if it was even longer than that. But yeah, <laughs> probably around there. It was very late. Alright, so it looks like Bonter is doing his uh, patented check the uh, Agina section over here. There's actually more to do here in Inverted. As you see, ooh, Big Key up there as well for Vibrec on Highlight Island. So now you know where the boss hides. That is not something we need to care about. Hero Big Key is pretty useful. Uh, but yeah, there's actually more stuff to do here now because there's a Gina and you can actually go to Checkerboard as well. Because again, it's mm -hmm. one of those that you would normally mirror from Dark to Light World. That's not possible in Inverted because it goes the other way around. So instead, they've opened up the area for it. We've seen that with the Bombos tablet as well. And we, oh. we even... Speaking <laughs> of... Speaking oh, of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just means even more stuff to do over here now, because you can mirror into the Mizumi Maya area and uh, <laughs> check, uh, check Maya Shed and the uh, medallion requirement, too. Yeah, a yeah, very nice find for Bata there. You can also get, like, one item and uh, one bit of knowledge in Desert here as well, if he wants to. 
that's all key to Turtle Rock. Inverted Turtle Rock is super interesting because you can mirror from where would normally be the uh, safety door in TR and just go straight to Laser Bridge. So in theory, you mm -hmm. only need one key to beat that dungeon. Ooh, Bomb Burst up there. That's definitely something you want to pick up. And it also definitely opens up the doors to a potential uh, Cana Samaria in Turtle Rock scenario. It sure does! <laughs> I may have had that one a couple of times. <clears throat> okay, so another thing that I like with Vywek's play here is he lifted the rock up here before doing the Ice Rod Cape as the bomb's exploding, because he's only 80 rupees away from getting Zora checked here. This is a pretty easy, like, rupee farm. To, to justify here, so that you don't yeah. have to come back. Bonzo, on the other hand, getting 3 hundo doesn't really need to worry about that bit, but, you know. So here we see another, another 300. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> so, Desert Palace became Feast Town. All right, good to know. <laughs> yep. We're seeing some of the uh, item restriction stuff here from like hard item pull as well. Like Bonzo is still on three hearts. Yeah, he skipped one, but there just aren't nearly as many in the item pool for stuff here, and it's really showing. Like even Vywek is only on five, and he's picked up pretty much everything as we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Bombos needed for Maya too, right? Isn't yep, this the same thing as basically having Canis Mario in Jackaboard? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, oh my god, shot. the hook shot, that's really good. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there's another course. 300. Yep. Oh, oh, oh and right there, good. too. <laughs> Second sword is good, but yep, that's that one sword slash. You, you, know, you know, every time you farm the money up, you always get it from from the area too but if you don't farm it then there's going to be no money around there's going to be no uh no item drops from the zoras to give you the money and stun prize is going to be nothing but useless junk so mm. it's unfortunate but it is what it is you know our to not safe quitting here smartly going just straight back over to the other side so he will be getting everything right has here as well which is good And the South had a lot of value here in the light world on both ends of the globe. Yeah. So yeah that's pretty good stuff. Yeah, the question is going to be when does... How on earth did that work? Uh, when does uh, Ryway go to um, go to the desert area? Because there's so much worth there. The thing is, like, I mean, he might be dissuaded because he doesn't have the mirror, not realizing that the mirror is sitting that first check over there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's always the rough bit, isn't it? Meanwhile, I do like this uh, going over to Beat Skull Woods here. I honestly would do a similar sort of thing with it here because you can just go to the Light World from this sort of side later on, no problem. And you have the resources to beat it. It's not going to get too much better in hard uh, item pull. Because you're not going to get green mail, and there's only one more sword in play, so... Mm -hmm. So if you're confident enough, go for it. And these guys are more than good enough to do it, so... And we do have that a big key to Thieves Town as well, so Ryuk could just go down there and, you know, not fully complete it. We don't have the small key, but could at least uh, get potentially another crystal out of it. Yep. Nice use of the sword beams here. Usually not something that you want, but sword beams are generally pretty useful when you are uh, in this sort of low heart mode and just want to uh, want to play safe. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that full magic too. Everything's setting up for him to do well at the moth fight here. Just needs to yep, get that good though, so he gets one more small key. Meanwhile, Bonds are doing the rest of the South Shore checks here. Alright, moth time. Let's see how this goes. Mm, rough start when 
you get such a wicked recoil off of that, but lots of good hits though. And he's trying to play patient, which is what you need to do. Needs to be careful though. I think he might have just about enough magic to use Cane of Burno, but it's probably better to use the Fire Rod for damage, yeah. No potions, right? So it's all or nothing. And it's an all. Wow, that was too close. Gives him a nice little fill up uh, with the heart piece and another heart with it, too. Yeah, it's just too bad there's no magic because it yeah. ultimately doesn't make a difference in terms of the time like, spent on refills, but still, really close as uh, Bonta will get the Master Sword here as well. Actually, kind of, now that I think about it, didn't. Vyrak had the empty bottle going into Waterfall Fairy. I'm almost surprised he didn't see if it was a potion out of that. Just out of, you know, because you're there anyway. It really doesn't take very long now because it's no text involved. Well, if I know anything about that, he probably forgot, because I forget that every single time I play this game. You so. know what, fair? <laughs> it's not, like, it's not the forefront, it's not on the forefront of people's minds normally, so uh, that is a very mm. reasonable thing to conclude. <laughs> Alright, so as I was kind of saying, Ryrick is not actually going to leave the uh, light save quit and leave Darkwell from here. He's got other business he wants to take care of in this area, which makes sense. You've got access to the light world if you want it, or as you said earlier, Slim, we could just do Thieves Town at the moment. It's a little bit dangerous without the small key, but, you know... It's always that one check in the big chest that requires the small key to go through. Looks like he's going to uh, Light World, though. Yeah, and that, you know, we know how stacked Kakariko is in terms of just general item checks, so that would be probably a good move on his behalf. And Bonta, following the hook shot that he found, I'm going to be checking the east side of Death Mountain, so that's another good play on his end, too. He could also do Tower of Hera, having gotten the big key for that, mm -hmm. and yo, know, Hookshot Hammer, that's the way up. So, yeah, I like this this idea from uh, Bonzo as well. Bywick's going to check the pedestal, see what we get out of this. Ah, didn't lose a bomb there either, despite them going every which way. What's it going to be? The small key to Evil's Bane. Well, it's not the big one, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Yeah, and GT's generally pretty generous with the small keys along the way, so that's not going to be a major concern. Yeah. There's one door that you just never open and you should be fine. <laughs> yep. That mini modom was not cooperating in the slightest there. <laughs> Castle Tower key number two, only necessary now if Lumberjack has got something. Um, otherwise, Half Magic's pretty good. Uh, Bonta once again being the first one to find that. So Ryweck is probably going to actually check that Lumberjack at this point and then head on down. Maybe through the Hyrule Castle, like back of escape stuff here, wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Ooh, big key. Oh, dead rocks, no! Dead rocks, please! Okay. <laughs> Just ten bombs on the Lumberjack, so not going to be needing those. That's not too bad. Great use of the mirror here from Bonzo as well, being able to check Hookshot Cave uh, along the way whilst getting, you know, dead rocks being, being butts. Don't have to worry too much about that. Ooh, powder. How does another one of those spots where, like, sometimes you would use Titan's Mint in the mirror to get in to that and to get, like, Hammer off a of Magic Battle or something, and uh, mm -hmm. you can't do that in Inverted. You have to have the Hammer to get there. Right. So there's a big key for Palace of Darkness. Not bad, not bad. And they've both cleared quite a bit of Palace of Darkness already, so just really need to find a, another small key to get to the end. 
So this is an interesting initial play from Bonta here. I was six, I was half expecting this, but later on, um, checking the front of TR here. I was thinking he might have done this with Mimic Cave, but I guess it doesn't really matter which way around you do it. Yeah, inverted makes it a little bit more awkward to go through a lot of the Death Mountain stuff because you just have so many extra like loops around you do. Normally you only have to do the one loop for Spiral Cave, but here you've got to do one for Spiral, one for Mimic, potentially one for the back of Turtle Rock if you want to, if you've got Mirror. So you've just got to go all the way through Paradox uh, way too many times here. Mm -hmm. This is what I was hoping Bonsa would have been able to do, but obviously no Hyrule Castle Small Key. Uh, if he had that Small Key, he could have gone from Dark Cross over to this. Uh, big key for GT. Oh man, what are you doing with that, Zelda? <laughs> Come on. The key to Evil's Bane in literally oh, the no. most holy place on the world map. <laughs> oh, you know what isn't holy though? Those chain shops. Yeah. That is brutal. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> and that takes a lot longer to get back to with the way he entered too. So. <laughs> mm hmm. Ow. Yeah, if there's something good in that chest, not even necessarily, like, required at the moment. If there's something good in that chest, then that's, that's a big annoyance for Bonza right now. I mean, you said it earlier, Ken Samara can be in Turtle Rock. It would be it like, the absolute worst spot for it to end up now is in that chest. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I mean, we'll hope it was the Well, okay, it's no longer hopeful that it's a single arrow because we have literally just found <laughs> that. But um, I was going to say, we could hope that it's that. But <laughs> apparently not. Game heard it and was like, hey, you want the single arrow? Here it is. Uh, and there might still be a few uh, green singles uh, for rupees, so that, that they could yeah. be there, I guess. That's true. So now we are going to see Bonta do the back of Turtle Rock, the Laser Bridge. Ooh, big key for Misery Maya. Okay. Small key, the gun. <laughs> of course, game. <laughs> of course. Uh, Bonta is having a little bit of trouble here. Half Magic is uh, pretty pretty nice for Cane Burner in this bit, but Mushroom. Ooh, oh, another big key. Swamp Power. Oh, Oh, small key to Hera before actually going there, too. That's a really good find for Bonza. Again, something Ryrot would not be able to do right now because no mirror. So inside Chicken House, small key for Pod. Yep, they need as many of those as they can get, so... Yep. Otherwise, I mean, I guess South Shore had like all the stuff, so or the yeah. South Dark World, uh, Light World in general. So I guess we can't really complain too much about what was here. A couple of good keys in this uh, general area, though. So yeah, and honestly, this is showing kind of what I talked about is you know when you add all of those Light World checks oh, once you oh, get to oh. Light World. I take back everything I said. This Kakariko is amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You know, you're not as big a fan of it, but that's fine because it's it's just it's extra checks that you can do at this point. Um, I, I'm I'm just saying we have a really hype match here. You know, this is the game two of the finals <laughs> between two really amazing runners. You know, we want we want this match to last. We don't want it to end like super quickly. So yeah. that's fair, but I mean. Ryrot's got more vitality now, it can keep going for longer, right? You're yeah, not right, convinced, right. I can already tell. Anyway, <laughs> so Vonta is going up towards Tara Hera now. That's the the good sort of feature about doing this whole Death Mountain loop. He's gotten everything he can out of the Turtle Rock, minus that one check. And he has the small key, he can actually, with that lamp, he can get everything in... Tara Hera now too, so potentially good. Yep. Um, the reason Robert's getting the map here is because so long as it isn't 
Okay, this for Swamp. That's a useful one. Um, the maps do let you see whether a dungeon is a crystal or a pendant. So there is actual use to that. Smoky mm -hmm. eyes. I mean, I, I think it's kind of the same as you mentioned with Maya and Skull Woods, right? If you've not cleared Ice Palace yet, a small key for that dungeon is actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's good. Small keys are good for routing purposes. Like you, that's a dungeon you don't need a small key for because there are some you can get along the way. But you know, if you get one early, you can kind of route it a little more efficiently. As Ryweck does see a sword here in the race game, uh, and will go pick that up. That'll be his final sword because of the hard item inventory here. Still, Tempered Sword before having to beat a boss when there's only three of them in the pool. That's got to feel pretty good. You know, and this is also the highest sword that they've had today. <laughs> this is also true. <clears throat> also, shout-outs to the uh, the VT cave here. Um, ever, ever since the uh, like VT put his name on this when Inverted was created, that is all I have wanted to call it. So... Yeah. Meanwhile, Bonza waiting for our beloved tile room here. And on Rylak's side, he is going to be heading over to the desert area, which is good. He's going to be able to pick up that mirror. And he'll actually have a couple more options, because he has the swords. So he could potentially even take a mire dip if he even wanted to. I really like this play from uh, from Wyrek, to be honest. The way mm -hmm. he's managed to, to loop around this light world has been incredibly efficient so far. Oh, well worth the wait. Okay. Whilst not required in Inverted to beat the seed, as we've seen mirror to, to Maya, the flute does help a lot in terms of uh, just getting to places faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, we, nice hair apart from, from Bonza there. Interesting that he's doing it because it's not required, but I guess it is still faster, so... Yeah. Or, yeah, so... When you've got the ability to pull it off that quickly, anyway. So, right away, gets his mirror. That's really helpful. Obviously, he'll be able to get the hookshot as well as... Uh, all of that money that's in Desert Palace. Yeah. And uh, with uh, that uh, eastern big key find on Bonta's end, he actually has some interesting decisions to make uh, after, you know, finishing up this little mountain tour. Um, he can go over fully complete eastern palace and potentially, if he wants to step back and pod and try to finish it with what he has, that could also be another crystal he could put on the board there too. Uh, one good thing if he did go for the Eastern Palace clear is the, that plus Tower Hero, the 5-6. So Pyramid Fairy would yeah. play then as well. But the big question is, what's he going to do right after Hera? Is he going to jump down to that spike cave location? <laughs> uh, he has the mirror out, so it looks... Plausible. Yeah. He also did pick up the small key to swamp too, I believe. From uh, Ooh, that's Mulhorn. really good. <clears throat> small key to swamp is one of the most annoying checks in uh, key sanity. It's it actually sure another is. little bit of trivia that we can put on that is, um, I believe when key sanity first came out, there was an extremely high chance that the small key to swamp would be vanilla at like all times. Oh, Myers a pendant. Ooh. Uh, we already had that knowledge, I believe. We did? But, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's been a long time since maps have been mm -hmm. checked, so I wasn't sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, so, so Bonto yeah. Bonta will get his fire rod, so... I really like the way that's been rooted as well. Uh, it's, again, excellent efficiency from Bonta's end as well. That's why these guys are in the finals. They've got, that's, they've both got excellent ways around this. That's why Bonta's been in the finals for the last two Francophone tourneys. <laughs> yep. Also true. Yeah, so we've seen Ice and Meyer as two of the pendants. So where's the third one going to be? Well, we do have the potential knowledge of, I believe, what Swamp Palace is going to be. I think we found that map recently. Right, I think Ryrek found that uh, up on Death Mounts. Was it not Death Mountain? No, we no, found no. that in uh, in the library, right? 
Yes, I believe so. Ooh, and this is also pretty cool. You see, Bonds is now going the reverse way around the uh, the world stuff here. It's also pretty awesome. Gets him back through the uh, Kakariko stuff nice and easily. So Ryuk is just blind diving, as you're saying, going into into Maya here. I mean, you know, we're we're in key sanity. Like, I think that's honestly a good play. There's so much. There's so many items in here. Like, when you look at just normal open modes, you only have like two, maybe three, if it's a green pendant or something. But when you know, we can't get to the boss, but every other item in here is a potential item. That's a lot of stuff. That's a pretty big location check on here. Yeah, it's normally what, seven or eight total things in I think here, but... I think it's eight, yeah. Yeah, because you've got big key, map compass, and three small keys, so... Oh, Aoife. If you need into the front of TR, maybe, but uh, we don't, so... Um, yeah, no, it's there's normally eight things in, in here, but six of them are dungeon items. That's not the case in key sanity, so... Whereas, as you say, there's one or two items that in this situation we'd be able to get, depending if Fiddy's got one. Here it's seven, which is a much more tempting mm -hmm. proposition. Plus, it's also a pendant dungeon, so, you know, people tend to not put as much priority on pendant dungeons as opposed to crystal dungeons. So, you know, he does pull out something big here. You know, that could be important. Uh, Matza had to kind of leave the desert. He didn't have a sword to get in here, so could be another kind of advantage for what Ryweck. Now here's something Bonta could do that uh, that Ryweck could not. So yeah, Titan Smith is only needed for one check in this game, uh, in Inverted, and that is not the Blacksmith chain here. Because with that mirror, there's there's been a change in the bush pattern over there to make it a bit clearer that you can uh, you can mirror there and mm -hmm. actually check this uh, blacksmith chain without having to actually you can even do purple chest here as well uh, without actually needing to have titans man pretty sure in hard inventory a hard container is not going to go astray mm. oh, yeah <laughs> All right, and after a thousand years have passed, Ryweck has finally been able to check what's in the uh, vanilla big key chest over here. <laughs> it's a shield. Oh, well. There are two shields in the inventory. You will never get mirror shield in hard either. Ooh, the cape. Interesting. The cape is interesting, because I believe we do have a big key on uh, Bumper Ledge. We sure do. And what direction has Bonta not gone yet? North Lightweld. Yeah, so, so that's, yeah, that's going to work out well for him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now here's one I haven't actually really seen. I've, I haven't done a lot of racing stuff in a while outside of the ladder. So here's, that's an attempted clip that I have not seen before. Um, just getting hecked a little bit too much by the fire bar up there. Oh, the fire snake even. Thing with fire, basically. Oh god. Careful, Ryawak. <laughs> Too much fire. And now Bonta has boots as well. Uh, oh, kind of surprised there was snow. Wait, no, he doesn't have powder. What am I talking about? Uh, small key to total rock. Not the most useful one. Okay, it doesn't uh... seem like there was anything in here, right? Yeah, Meyer was kind of a bust. Um, really just the Turtle Rock small key, but we already had one at that point, and I think we can kind of get through the rest of it pretty cleanly. Yeah, so that's the unfortunate example. Sometimes the plays don't always work out, but yeah. all the other stuff that came like before that is still very helpful for Ryrek, and he's going to be able to follow up on what Bonzo has done on the mountain here. Yeah, you kind of don't have Titan's Mid, so... One thing with the portals is that yes, they may be they may be like in Dark World instead of Light World, but they still have the same requirements between the two. Uh, you will yeah. still need Titan's Mid to get the one down at uh, down you know, south here, and you will need Titan's Mid plus Hammer to get the Total Rock one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
Okay. It's the most minor of minor annoyances that I noticed here is that Ryrek is not going to be at full health going to the, the next dream here, so sword beams on the crystal switch are not possible. It's such a minor thing, but it's it always yeah. annoys me when uh, when I've got like the sword to do it and I just don't have uh, the health, because it just means you've got to waste another palm or switch to a different weapon or something. You know? That was pretty nice, though. That one bomb was able to kill uh, all three of the mini Moldorms, though. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Quite the quite the knockout punch there. And that that was the I mean we don't have any reason to do it, but that was like the second castle tower key. Yeah. <laughs> Paradise too. Yeah, it's fortunate for our runners that there isn't anything useful there, to be honest. Okay, so yeah, seeing it as a crystal. Still don't have any info on the blue pendant, huh? Uh, seeing seeing the crystal here, it looks like uh, Bonta is going to just do Thievestown. A little bit dangerous, as we mentioned before, there is one chest in here that is not possible to collect, but... Oh no, Fairy, don't abandon us! <laughs> it tried. It really <laughs> did. Yeah, Lumberjack has got nothing. The pedestal has got nothing important. It's a small key to GT, so we're not really too worried about that. Okay, here's my question at the moment, though. Is Ryweight going to do the Turtle Rock stuff before Tower of Hera? Because Turtle Rock had the Tower of Hera small key, which locked the flute. Looks like he is going back here, but let's see. There's a whole bunch of, uh, of annoying uh, chests. Now he's to going to Hera. Out. Okay. Again, the flute is not essential, but it is a pretty significant movement advantage. So... Yeah. If for some reason the uh, Misery Maya stuff was required, like if Vidi has got an item, then... And even, I guess, Desert is also a lot faster to get to if you find a Titan's Mint and have the flu, right? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. Well, we did see a green 20 rupee there from Bonta, which I think is either going to be like a mail upgrade or the last sword that would be the thing at the moment. Same with what Ryrek has just found there. Probably would be one of the mail upgrades. Yeah, probably. Usually when you see a green 20 rupee, which is not something that's in the uh, vanilla game, it's indicating an item that has been uh, replaced in the, the pool. Such an awkward setup for the, uh, for the thing there. Yeah, it looks I... really fast, but you... Yeah, it's... The hero part is pixel perfect, right? So it's... You, you're moving so quickly and to try and get it, it's... Must take a decent bit of practice to get that right. Oh man, blind coming in with the inset pun, the old classic. So yeah, both runners are gonna have about their second crystal around the same time here, so. Yeah, it is interesting how that's ended ended up uh, working out, huh? Math of TR, that could be relevant. Oh. Yep, nice uh, patient uh, fight from Ryrook there. It's very easy just to get over Ego when, when he's on the left-hand side, just try and finish the fight quickly. That would not have been the correct option there. Uh, we do have Turtle Rock as a uh, crystal. Okay. We saw from the map there. <laughs> Bonta, you need to go for the other world for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy to go. Oh yeah, I've done Blacksmith. I don't need to. I don't need to worry. I, I could just Titan's mid over there. But now you actually do need to uh, go the other side. Yep, one of those inverted gotchas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, so now Ryrook is going to go over. I think he's probably going to be a bit disappointed that the Tower of Hera small key is on this side. But... Yeah. Okay, 
is going to have an easier time with these uh, laser skips though. Like, Bonza did need to end up using Cane of Burno, but the, the boots are significantly easier to laser skip with than, uh, than just walking. That said, still hurts. Alright, not actually going to check the rest of TR. Okay. That's it's not unreasonable considering the uh, the amount of time you'd have to walk around again, but mm -hmm. still interesting. So, where are we off to now? That is a question. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is an answer somewhere. It's just. Uh... I mean, Swamp Palace does seem pretty good, right? You've got yeah. a bunch of stuff. The yeah, the mushroom is pretty good to, to get sorted out as well. Especially in inverted, because you can't flute to it. It's really annoying to do. Uh, yeah, for just sure. for heart. Ponta has actually pulled ahead on hearts now, <laughs> finding all these containers. After being at three hearts for like half the seed so far. <laughs> yep. Okay, so it looks like Bont is going to do Swamp Palace, right? It's got the the small and the big key? Or is it just the small key that we got here? Um, Ryoak's the one that has the big key. I don't know okay. if Bontha has a... So there's one more potential spot. Like, most of the time, you're going to get away with this stuff, and you don't usually have an item there. But just that one time that you don't have, like, the keys that you want, and there's there's an item there, and it sets you back like 15 minutes now. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I've I've really been enjoying just how. Oh wait, I think that we I think we just got the last information for desert. Was I didn't quite catch I, it quick enough? Was that a pendant there? I think it was a pendant. So that's a pendant. Uh, so yeah, we have speculative confirmation there as well. Okay. That's good to know because so that's Ice Mire and Desert would be the uh, the pendants then. So what do we still need? Big key for Thieves Town. Oh, not Thieves Town. Uh, Total Rock, right? Uh, yes. Uh, also the Cane of Samaria to get to that boss yep. as well. But GT Big Key has been picked up. Um, it has. Ice Palace, we don't strictly need the big key for because we can. Well, I mean, by logic, a, yes, but you know, it, it's also a pendant, so. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think we're good on pod keys as well. If we don't have to find any more items in there. Yeah. If we don't use any more, we'll be fine there too. So yeah, we're literally just finding, needing to find at least for what we know anyway. Uh, Can of Samaria and that big key to Turtle Rock. Did Bonster pick up the uh, big key that was a uh, bumper cave in the end? I don't know. I don't think so. Cause yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I didn't. Must admit, I didn't really see if uh, if it did there. Yeah, cause he went to. Um, get the Desert purple chest, then... And... Yeah, so he didn't actually go up Lost Woods area at all, right? So... Yeah, and you know, that's all... The north is also where that uh, Ganon's Tower big key is as well, yeah, if you remember. Uh-huh. So it's, it's, it's honestly, like... And again, this was kind of alluding to before we saw the Desert Pendant. Um, you know, both the runners, once they kind of got to the quote-unquote Dark World, or the Light World in this case... Uh, They've kind of taken much different routes, and it's just interesting to see how this is playing out. They're still diverging quite a bit and finding stuff still, so... Yeah, absolutely. There's a, a great use of an extended diver down for Bonta there. You can... Uh, to my knowledge, I've not actually tried this one myself, but to my knowledge, you can... Uh, if you walk through the door as the bomb is exploding, you can effectively store that explosion so that the crystal switch gets hit when you uh, next go back up there. So you do your diver down, the bomb, ex uh, the bomb explodes so the crystal switch gets hit in the right spot here. You still get the key because you're doing diver down. And there it is, big key to TR. Okay, that's pretty good. 
Now old Kane be right here. No. Oh, it would have been good. <laughs> Call that the go mode. Pa well, not for Bonta anyway, but for Ryweck, that'd be the go mode package. Yep. One more hobbies. <laughs> See, Ryweck has pulled ahead in hearts again, <laughs> or at least it's pulled even. <laughs> you know, <laughs> interesting competition on that side, I guess, even if it's, you know. There's not like a secondary condition where if like you get all the hearts, like you ca you can contest the actual winner of the race, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I'm pretty that's, sure that's we're fair. not like. We don't need so many hearts to to pull the sword out the pedestal, right? So that's a different <laughs> game. Uh. All right, hot piece there. Nothing really too fancy for the second diver down. <laughs> yeah, interesting race indeed. First to twenty hearts. That would be that would be pretty fun. Whenever I do random races with friends, I always try to bring that up. Okay, well, <laughs> can we also race the first to 20 wins, or...? It's kind of like Triforce Hunt, in yeah. a way, you know? Sometimes that's the only way I can win a race. <laughs> oh! That's, that's almost impressive when you put it that way. <laughs> I'm not beat up about it, it's fun. Alright, so Bonta getting these uh, awesome uh, dash strats. Fortunately, just missing the hook shot there, so it's going to need to do the rest of this, uh, I guess, more normally. Uh, that's fine. It's crazy seeing like the speedrun tags coming in with stuff here. They're just some of the some of the strats that get done is so ridiculous. Mm hmm Definitely. Well, there's the myths for uh, Bonto. He can now check King's Tomb. Yes, King's Tomb is the one check that needs Titan's Mitten inverted. For the same reason as was mentioned with Flights of Desert. Uh, you normally could mirror there from Dark World, but that doesn't work when the mirror activates in the Light World. Mm -hmm. And as you have called attention to earlier, you know, this will also help, you know, in addition to that, like, you know, if Bonta wants to go to Mire, that'll be a quicker way to Mire, or... Yep. No, not Mire, or Desert, rather. Yeah, yeah, Desert Desert also... Desert and Mire, I guess, are both kind of linked in that way, because you do need to to go to Mire with the flute in order to get to the desert and stuff, so... Alright, good old Sahar Shadar show over here. What's, what's he gonna... I mean, we've already seen this on Rai Rai's end, but I've forgotten by now what's he gonna give us here. I, it wasn't anything spectacular, I know that. Yeah. It's a small key for TR, right, yeah. And oh. to Thieves Town. Oh, that's the one that Bont has already done. I actually didn't even notice that one. Uh, okay, so a bit more important than necessarily thought. Oh boy, what if what if it's there? <laughs> that would be very sad. It, it could be, that's the thing. Or, you know, and there's also that one chest in the Chain Chomp room that uh, Bonta missed out on as well. That could also be a... Right, Ryway did not even go into the front half of uh, Total War. Well, the middle half, really. Middle third, I guess. But whatever, he didn't go in the middle of TR. And so it's kind of still up in the air as to if there's anything useful there. And I'm trying to think, like, there's still some chests here in Palace of Darkness we haven't seen as well. Like, Ryweck obviously mm. went straight to Helmosaur. But we have some other yep. stuff in here too. I believe he's one key short of getting all of them, because I think it's Harmless Hellway, Big Key Chest, and the Big Chest itself. Right. Um, which, the big chest you can hammy up again to, so that's not a problem, but the other two both need small keys, and they're one shot of getting that, so... And, you know, one thing they could do, this is a strat I try to make use of sometimes, is uh, they could also try to save scum the key, to an extent, where they basically save right before they open one of those uh, chests blocked by a small key, get the item, and if it's uh, nothing good, uh, just reset the game and keep that key and check the other one later. That's pretty reasonable. 
Oh, it's a bit of a risky play from Viro here, though. He actually has just skipped out entirely, not even going back mm. to take a look at anything off of it there. It's interesting, and, you know, knowing knowing how the law of averages works, it'll probably work out, but, you know, <laughs> dangerous play. It's, yeah, it, it's definitely hard to justify, especially when you have, like, you know, an actual unique item and a big key on top of that, because, yeah, and... Actually, does Ryweck even have the knowledge of all the... Oh, yeah, he would. He had the pendant, so yeah, he would know. Um, but yeah, like, if it's a small key, then yeah, you could probably make that gamble a lot more easier. But in this case, like, you know, there's only one of those items, so it, it is a risk when you leave something behind. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I was kind of going to avoid bringing that, because I think this is pretty insane, even for someone as good as Bonte here. We've seen in that first seed how much he hovered in all the places, right? Right. Would it be possible, <laughs> you think, that he could actually hover to, to try next to avoid the Samari again? Oh my gosh, it's... Uh, I have seen that's TGH quite a long hover. hover. I have seen TGH hover the first room of, uh, of TR before. I know it could be done. <laughs> oh yeah, it can definitely be done, and there's runners in this community who have been able to do that. It's, it's, it's really. I mean, I, I, I say this as someone who's never hovered once whatsoever, but I imagine that it's very difficult. You have to be very precise, and that's a long distance to hover from. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not expecting it. It's just a. Would it even be possible for him, you think? Yeah. Um, would that be something that Bonta would consider? If it turns yeah. out that the only thing he needs is Kane of Samaria. I mean, that, that... Well, he... The thing is, Bonta does need other stuff, though, at this point. Like, he needs to get that yeah. big key to Ganon's Tower, so he is probably going to still be checking stuff. Now, if he does get those items, yeah, that could be very well something that could be on his mind, but... Is it worth the risk? It's hard to say. Hmm. Okay, well, he doesn't have to worry about Thieves Town Big Chess having Samaria. Yeah. Because that is not the case here. It's interesting seeing the uh, the crystal counts sort of lining up again here, though, with, uh, mm -hmm. with them just clearing the dungeons out as they go. Oh, it looks like Bonta is checking out some of the, uh, checking out at least one of the small key locations here. Yeah, this is this is the awkward bit when you don't have quite enough keys here. It's like you you've kind of just got a 50-50, and I mean I've I have seen and experienced key sanities won and lost by picking the wrong chest in here. That's mm -hmm. where your uh, your safe quit strat stuff uh, would actually work out pretty well. Yeah. Alright, it's got to be a little careful. There we go. I don't know how that sword swing <laughs> that hit there. That was like <laughs> ten miles away from the boss, but whatever, you know. So yeah, I believe that's crystal number five for Ryweck. Just needs the swamp, which I imagine that's where he's going to be heading to next. And then, of course, uh, Turtle Rock. Uh, Bonta finishing up uh, Palace of Darkness. We'll have to get the Skull Woods crystal at some point. Uh, but we'll pretty much be along the same lines. Uh, yeah, I would like to say, I think both of them are just two items away from their respective go modes at this point. Yeah, Bonta's just got... Uh, Samaria and the GT key to find, whereas Firework has got the Turtle Rock uh, big key and, of course, Samaria as well. And if this is the swamp play, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, he'll have one of those two items for Ryweck on Ryweck side anyway. The, was the cape also in Swamp Palace? Um, I didn't think so. Yeah, I think it was the bottom chest, I think. Yeah, because... Uh, oh, oh, no, no it was, it was no, Magic, no, magic Bat. Okay. That's right. And, yeah, yeah Ryweck didn't have the powder before, so... 
Yeah, because I'm still going back towards that big key. Like, yeah, it's not one that we need to clear the game at this point, but big key the Skull Woods could yield an item that, you know, the Samaria, right, that we need. Or even the Ice Palace, big chest. <laughs> That's true. And at that point, if you get the Ice Palace big key, that's effectively just a full dungeon clear possible there, right? So That's a great screen pendant, so yeah, that mm -hmm. would be it. Yeah, so I guess Ryrex, so I mean, I, I doubt he would skip it here anyway, but Ryrex, top priority here must be don't skip left side, you know. Because that is a non-negotiable uh, pickup in this seat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Bonta getting to use the flute. So today, the flute works in the Dark Worlds, and it takes you straight to the front of Thieves Town too. So if you ever do need to check that, real quick thing to do. Um, looks like uh, oh yeah, this is also really good because you can check pedestal and then mirror to get to the back of Skull Woods here. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that'll be a nice little combination there. Yeah, because I saw the book out and was going, is that what you... Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, that's that's really good. Because uh, normally we see this done the other way around, right? If uh, in normal mode mm -hmm. you would mirror from Skull Woods to Jet Pedestal and then go elsewhere. But of course, as we've, uh, as we've alluded to a lot, inverted kind of makes you do things in the opposite way around. And that's the... Uh, that's the evidence for it right there. It's... Hashtag inverted things. <laughs> just inverted things. Also, it's kind of annoying to uh, to get. Did he just fire on down and hit that? <laughs> that was really yeah, cool. yeah. Okay, <laughs> that was awesome. Isn't this game lovely? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen some strange things in my time. <laughs> you know. That fire snake always seems to be in the worst possible spot when you're going through mm -hmm. here. So yeah, this is what you normally have to do in order to uh, to do the swamp palace left side stuff here. Um, can be a little bit slow sometimes, and you've got to remember not to drown the key. Um, thankfully, it's not a lock like it used to be. But yeah, it's still pretty annoying to have to exit the dungeon, come all the way back through for it. Yeah. Alright. So just get rid of the sword beams here. Bonta's uh, moth is going to be significantly easier here, not just because of the heart difference, but because of uh, tempered sword as well. Yeah. And see, now that Bonta's uh, finished this part and get, gets his six crystal, he can actually kind of resume those kind of northern checks and will more than likely pick up his uh, GT big key shortly. So both of them are just going to be Samaria away at, you know, around the same time here, so... <laughs> I was going to, I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that he needs to go into Light World again for stuff here, I was going to say one of the crazy things that does sort of work out from this, he'd be able to uh, to flute away there as well if there were any Dark World things he'd need to do. But this just works even better, being able to just immediately uh, go into the Light World again and haven't done Lost Woods yet, let's go check that, you know. Mm-hmm. So really, as you say, they've both done very different sort of uh, game plans and stuff here, but overall, the uh, both of them have had very excellent strings in this seed. Yeah, and they're both going to... This is around the time when the seeds are going to kind of converge together, so they're going to be just looking for, again, that last item. Um, you know, kind of the difference... I know there's like a bunch of small checks here and there and everything, but uh, Bonta checked the front of Escape, which I don't think Ryweck did, and Ryweck checked all of Meyer, which Bonta hasn't, so... You know, if Bonta makes that play for Meyer, Ryweck, I'd say, has a bit of an advantage just having that cleared out. Uh, but again, we'll see if Bonta makes the play straight for Ice Palace, and maybe that's where Samaria is. That could be kind of a game-changer there. Yep. Maya does take quite a bit to go for. It. So this big key that we uh, that we've been referring to before could come in clutch here. Depends which one it is.
to scroll Go woods. Woods. Okay. It's not too far away to go and check if uh, if you're so inclined. Yep. Okay. So this will be a an item sequence that I will need to get to if uh, Samaria is here. That's definitely a it will be a rough one. Going having to go to Majibat, then go get this key, then immediately go into Skull Woods, but. At least the positioning of the key is uh, beneficial for that. And here comes the hover. There goes the mini Moldorm too. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, the mini Moldorm got excited. Oh my god, Bond is hovering! He's hovering! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go congratulate him! Okay, well, okay, congratulatory rupees as well, but oh well. <laughs> Okay, so that Ryweck has his six crystal. We are tied on crystals, uh, going into just this last item find we need. I was actually half expecting Ice Pilot there straight away from Ryweck, I'm not gonna lie. Well, this is something he can kind of you know, route into Ice Palace. I think he's, yep, he's going for the Pyramid Fairy. Yeah, this is actually really good, because you mentioned Ryweck didn't do Fun of Escape, right? So this could yeah. also be the, uh, the the link that gets there, right? Because, right. uh... And there it is, behind the one oh, check... Oh, boy. ...of the Titan's mid. Okay. ...in the tomb. So Bonta oh. just needs to get back to the other bit here, uh, to Sanctuary, and get GT Big Key. And Ryvax, like, he's not too far away from this, but... Uh, he's not, and at the same time, he's, like, he 100 is, miles yeah. away. Because, like, that spot is isolated for him. There is nothing else in that area for him to do. He's got Quake, doesn't really do a whole lot. Yeah, and if yeah, he, he checks got... Escape, oh, if he my. checks Escape here... And I mean, why would you not in this spot? Right. Honestly, this is the uh, the ideal time for it. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. I think. Yeah, because Bonter has gone back up. This is ideal for him. He'd still have the mushroom to check as well in this direction. So that's why there's absolutely no way that he wouldn't uh, wouldn't continue on this path. Uh, to answer a question in chat, where is the Ganon's Tower big key? Well, if you just watch. Three seconds from now, uh, <laughs> you will see where it is. It's in the most holy place in Hyrule. The big key to Evil's Vein. Yep, it seemed like Zelda was uh, going to attempt the uh, the fight herself at some point, and uh, probably just chickened out. I don't know. I mean, we have so many playable Zelda sprites in this thing, it's not yeah. so that she has the big key, right? Also, Bont has got the flute activated, so that's another real fast way up here. I think, yeah, this is... Uh, heavy advantage for, for Bonzo at this point. Yeah, and I mean, we even saw in the last seed, like, Bonzo, you know, going into Ganon's Tower for both runners, uh, Bonzo was only about a minute and a half behind, and did make up that difference in the closing game uh, to just 28 seconds, so Bonzo's really, really strong when it comes to execution. Yeah, Bonzo definitely uh, adapted much quicker to the... Um, the, the enemies and, and GT there. Also, here is your, your link through. Uh, shout outs to the uh, SMC3 crew. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that's a nice little Easter egg which was uh, added when uh, when this stuff was was made. Another really neat thing, as we mentioned a few times, you can just go straight to Laser Bridge here with, from Total Arc, and this just is another really awesome sort of way of showing that here. Now, That's you it. do actually have to go back to Hyrule Castle in order to go to GT, because uh, Aga Tower and Ganon's Tower have switched places, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, just a slight off play. I've never actually seen that move before, it's pretty cool. For placing the Samaria block in, uh, in that room. 
And it's also really nice because uh, in Inverted, uh, Ganon doesn't crash into the pyramid. He crashes just in that lovely design on the Hyrule Castle balcony. So there's just a, there's a nice huge hole there waiting for the final Ganon fight. See, he really is climbing to Ganon. We are playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking over Hyrule Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately, as we've we mentioned, our map of Hyrule Castle in there too has added pain to the to everything here. So, Ryrek, where do we go now? Oh! This is a good direction for Ryrek to be going in, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's going north-ish, so... Okay, wow, yeah, what a champ, dude. <laughs> making the play. awesome. The sponsor has picked up the seventh crystal, though. So again, I think we're, we're we're maybe a little bit too far with this, but anything can happen out of out of these seeds. We have seen really crazy things go on before, so mm -hmm. it's it's also it's way too early, I guess, to to say you know this race is done because obviously the times have not come in yet, but. It definitely becomes like a straight-up execution a test for the rest of this. I mean, we don't have to go through the Ganon's Tower big key search like we would in, you know, a Northern Opal's open seed. So, just going to be climbing straight up that tower and then doing the Ganon fight right afterwards. Yeah, and I think the problem, I guess, in that sense is when you are, like, a full crystal behind, right? It's uh, mm -hmm. It's really tough to to catch up against anyone, never mind somebody of uh, Bonta's caliber, right? So it's... Right. It's... I, I don't know. It's it's just... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, that, was a, that was a skip of the cutscene, huh? I have never seen that before. Okay. <laughs> this shows just how long it has been since I have actually, like, done any serious uh, Tony races or anything like that, because there are so many discoveries that have been made that I have no idea about, and that apparently is one of them right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Also had just enough arrows to, to comfortably make it through here as well. Uh, but, it, you know, it is worth pointing out, like, this, you know, this isn't the... Super Grand Finals is only game two, with Ryweck actually taking game one. So there will be a third match, which I believe will actually take place tomorrow at 1.30. So, um, you know, if uh, Bonta does take this, uh, the match still goes on. And, uh, you know, both racers have shown they're capable of winning. So it's going to be a going to be a good one if it gets to that point. Yeah, it'll be absolutely crazy to to hear what modes that are selected for tomorrow too, because I don't think the two seeds could have been that different here, because we had what retro uh, retro animizer for like the first one here, and this one being inverted key sanity. It's not quite yeah. opposites, but it's not too far from it. And yeah, it's just it's wild seeing what they come up with for the mode stuff here. Tomorrow's one I think is actually going to be a lot more random too. I think they both get two vetoes, but they don't get to choose any of the settings. The right. rest of it is left up to chance. So, assuming again that we are going to that uh, that third game here. Mm -hmm. And again, also worth pointing out, in this tournament, uh, before today, Bonta has not had a single loss. His first loss in this tournament being against Ryweck, uh, you know, just an hour and 30 minutes ago. So, yeah, like, uh, Bonta's very well executed uh, in this tournament, just in, like, the past randomizer in general. Uh, Ryweck really, really putting in the work to make it to this stage of the tournament. So, uh, you know, about to get eliminated. He was about to get eliminated in the first match of the brackets. Uh, had to force a game three, the only game three in the bracket stage, uh, just to stay in it and worked his way to the finals here. So, you know, definitely both very worthy, uh, very worthy competitors, and both have had very strong progress in past tournaments as well. Yeah, I mean, this is 
one of those things we mentioned. If anyone, if anyone could dethrone Bonza here, it would be Ryrak, right? So yeah, uh, that's that's why they're here. He took half the throne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You make it sound as if they're gonna basically be like little kids fighting over half the toy here. They've like torn it in half each now. If uh, assuming it goes to like game three, <laughs> and then it's just like, okay, now put it, now stitch it back together. What did you take? It? Now, isn't that how every randomizer races? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, so there's no point in Bonta opening chess here. This is hard item functionality, uh, not functionality, hard item pool, which means silvers aren't even available. Right. So, pretty sure there's like no point in him opening chess here because there's nothing else he can get. There's no, no mail upgrades. He's already got half magic. He's got the cape. There's no extra sword. Excellent triple there. And a good finish on that too. That's as uh, because of the the blue ball pattern there. That's as good as you could get out of that. Oh, I hate how that bomb bounces off the wall there. I'm, it's I know it's a positioning thing, but it just irritates you to no end. It's like I'm trying to throw the bomb across to be fast here. Why you have to bomb? Why you have to bounce off the wall and not work? So now, just one Tempered Sword this time, but one Silver is Ganon fight between uh, Bonta and a game for free tomorrow. Yeah, and even with just, uh, you know, just with even Tempered Sword, just, you know, getting all these hits very efficiently, even doing the kind of bounce back off the Trident when he throws it to get an extra spin attack in there just shows how well seasoned Bonta is with this game. Yeah, that was great positioning off of that too, going getting the dash to uh, to get to the left hand side of Ganon to so that I've never actually even seen that either, to be honest. Uh, normally in the, when he's in the corner there it's not too difficult to get twelve slashes like the, the standard way. <laughs> oh Ganon you tricks to you. This is a combo rando. <laughs> well, I don't normally play like hard modes of, of either type of thing, so I didn't know that he was gonna say something like that for it. Oh wow, even getting the spin there too. This is and fire or torch glitch too. Bonzo is absolutely uh, executing out of his mind for this fight here. Oh, and you've done it as many times as he has, it's no surprise. Like, just, again, just makes it look as easy as breathing. Yeah. As with everything in speedrunning, it is never as easy as it looks. Even yeah. if the games do look trivial, they're always uh, much more complicated than they look. Bonta finishing first here with a time of 1 hour, 32 minutes, and 35 seconds. GG. GG's game two will go to Bonta. Uh, looks like Ryweck is going to be continuing on to finish up this seat as well. Uh, won't be too far behind. So, you know, good work on him. Good hustle, you could say. And uh, you know, th this got pretty. Cl this got pretty close. It honestly all came down to just how they routed the kind of light world sections. And you know, both of them routed well. It's just that Bonta's routing just worked a little bit better uh, after he was able to finish Skullwoods. That led him on the track to his last two items, while Ryweck was on the other side of the world and had to kind of check all that stuff in between. So it was really, really close. And it's pretty great seeing how Bonta's like, effective deviation from what I was thinking he would do with uh, going up, you know, north after Kakariko. The uh, the fact that he didn't do that and did purple chest instead kind of uh, gave him the item clearance later on to do. Uh, to do it with Titan's Myth, which ended up making all the difference here. 
Mm-hmm. That's just yeah, one definitely. of those like classic randomizer moments, isn't it? Where it's like, oh, not. It's kind of like having the Feast Town the uh, key or something that way. It's like, oh, this check that I wasn't able to do whilst I was up there the first time just happened to be the right thing, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, we've still got one big old blue pig to uh, to slay here. So let's see how I work handles this fight. I also like keys, keys, keys. Up. <laughs> yeah, it's nice seeing some of the different item texts from the likes of Zora and uh, oh, something uh, from Zora and yeah, as you say, the the potion shop and whatnot. There, it's fun seeing some of the different ones that you don't get to see in normal modes because like. Yeah, if you just played standard or open all the time and didn't play this sort of thing, obviously they can't have a small key, so you would never get to see it. Right. I like, I think, um, what is it, Sick Kids 1? Is it either Sick Kid or sho uh, the Shovel Spot when there's a compass there? It's like, you know, the navigation boy finds way again or something. <laughs> <It's> something <like laughs> yeah, that. yeah cool. something like that. Planet Zeebies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice uh, timing for letting go of the spin there. I think you... It's something I need to actually look at myself. I think you can just like let go of the spin when the... Ooh, when the... Um, uh, when the text box is going on and, you, and it will work. But like it looks really impressive anyway. <laughs> even if it is like a simple execution trick. Mm-hmm. So you can you can just tell like with how often uh, or like how well these games have uh, have been developed as far as speedruns go that everything just you know there's a lot of really impressive things in games like this and Mario's especially that they look so cool and they're not always that difficult to pull off and it's just great you get that really great feeling when you uh, when you just start up and you can do some of the this crazy stuff like Silver's Ganon doesn't take that long to do as a uh, you know as a basic thing if you just you know go right hold the sword out don't get hit by the fire bat release it when he's teleporting in and uh, it just looks really cool and it's so satisfying too GG to Ryweck finishing 1.56.41 in speed racing time Yep, only a four-minute difference here. You know, not as close as the 28-second difference we had for game one, but still, I mean, when you have a mode like Inverted Key Sanity, like, I think that's a pretty close margin. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. This mode can, is very volatile, and Key Sanity especially adding, as I like to say, so many ice rods to the uh, to the game where they're, they're only needed for one thing, like the Titan's Mint in this case and they can just be anywhere in the world, it's incredibly difficult to consistently, like, you know, finish optimally in these things. So, uh, yeah, this mode gets really crazy, and it's still a pretty, pretty freaking close finish to be only four minutes out here. Anyway, we do have uh, Ryweck here in the waiting room, so I'm going to go ahead and bring him in really quick. Sounds good to me. And we are being joined by our second place finisher for game two, our winner from game one, Ryweck. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello! Oh. Okay, so that was a seed. It sure I thought was. I was doing well. I thought I was doing well. I'm like, you... oh my. <laughs> uh, honestly, you, you you were doing well. You were honestly <laughs> doing really well. And honestly, I can't really say you made any incorrect decisions. It just came down to just slightly more convenient routing on Bonta's part uh, at the very end there. Yeah. Um, you were you were one item away before he was uh, even two uh, one item away. So, again, just when he went to that north to finally get his uh, Ganon's Tower big key, he was also in the area to check out that King's Tomb as well, and that, uh -huh. gave, him, that gave him both items at once, pretty much, and you had to kind of make your way up there 
Uh, Hyrule Castle obviously took a little bit of time away as well, but again, you couldn't have known, so... True. I do regret my Misery Mire dip, but that's about it. <laughs> It, it, would, it would have been a strong play if there was something in there. Mm -hmm. because, um, and I need uh, a strong play against Bonta. Bonta's execution is just much stronger than mine, and I needed like a tiny edge here. And like, I was really hoping Misery Meyer had the key. Yeah, because... Well, you know, it, well, go on. I was just going to say really quickly that um, when... Because uh, uh, Bonta actually checked kind of the desert area um, before he checked many Moldorm caves, so... Uh, because of that, he didn't have a sword to go into oh. Misery Meyer. If he did, that could have let him in there as well. But you know, if on the other side of the coin, if you, if there was something in misery Meyer, I think we'd have probably had a different result because it would have probably been a while before he went back in that direction. I was so hoping that fire rod was going to give me the edge and like, oh, he probably didn't check spike game this early, right? Right? No, he probably yeah. Didn't. That was what I was going to go for. The uh, that fire rod really was uh, quite the pickup early on, huh? It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, we were t I was sort of talking on it, going, I, I saw you hesitating a little bit and going, do I go across this again? I, I knew you wanted to do it. And then it was like, no, I'm going to save quit and go around the other way. I don't want to deal with these line novels, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was just, and then the other bit that really scared me there was you using the potion in the middle of the spikes when you only had the one heart left. I was like, oh no, the iframes are going to run out. Why? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's scary. It's scary, but it's doable. Mm hmm. But yeah. Hey, hey, I took a win off of Bonta. This, this is, I've been fighting my way through this tournament the entire time. So many difficulties. I had a triple tiebreaker in the group stage. And then uh, this is the second time I'm going to match three in the brackets. Like, I'm going to give him heck. <laughs> You best, because mm -hmm. uh, if anyone can take him out of this tournament, it's gotta be you, surely. Oh, I mean, there's only me left, so it has to be. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's yeah. where we're going with that. <laughs> and you're the only one who has taken a game off of him in this tournament, so you yep. know you are the most likely to do it anyway, that's, so there you go. That is true. Whew. Hey guys, thanks so much for commentating. Like, I really appreciate, like, you guys coming out and supporting me in commentary and i know you were biased towards me i know this i know this clearly right <laughs> <laughs> we did try and keep it as even as we can <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it is going to game three the settings are already picked out uh it's pretty strange uh, the way we do match threes and they're so rare um the way it's done is that we put in vetoes and then everything else is randomized. So it did come out as just a regular old inverted 100% locations, but it could have been so much worse. <laughs> mm, yeah. Okay, so this without the key sanity, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And also so, with the option of silvers, that would be nice. That is true. Eh, well, silvers. Silvers is pretty much only useful in Vitreous if you don't have a better sword. <laughs> Like, Ganon, please, who needs him? Clearly not you two, based on these two seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, GG, I mean, especially on that first win for Seed 1, that was a very, very close and exciting race to watch, and uh, we'll watch you both uh, duel tomorrow for the title. Uh, tomorrow at 1.10 yeah. p.m. Eastern, so 1.10. Hey, not just a title, it's for quite the prize, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should probably uh, mention that, because I don't think we actually did during the match, but uh, the winner of this tournament uh, will actually be qualified uh, for the SG Live tournament in Verdun, Virginia, in November 10th through 15th, and we'll also have all of their travel, hotel, and ticket covered for. So very, very big prize for a very cool event. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to be a very exciting match to watch i'm sure if these two were any indication oh yeah definitely definitely all right well thank you two so so much i'm gonna head over to the francophone side and wave a little hello over there <laughs> okay you do that man all right yeah Take care. ggs again and uh good luck tomorrow all right thanks guys So with that, I guess we'll kind of start wrapping up uh, here. Um, but uh, before we do, if you want to stick around on the Speed Gaming channel um, here on Speed Gaming 1 at 6 p.m., 
Uh, we have the Mario Kart 64 Grand Prix with Skip's uh, tournament. We have Smurfy versus Danger Mole. So if you want to watch some very exciting racing action, uh, stick around. Uh, that will be happening in just like about an hour from now. Yeah, I just want to say, if you've never seen anything to do with Mario Kart uh, 64 stuff and with Skip's, there are some ridiculous like ultra shortcuts found in these games and yeah it's it's a bit of a treat <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah the, the physics in that game are insane just watching runners take advantage of that is just it's pretty it's something to see for sure yeah well with that i think we should head out ourselves here as well thank you guys very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this race as much as we have uh what a wild mode to to end up having just randomly pop up with this uh isn't randomizer great just what you can do with this game nowadays it's it's insane i still remember just like three years ago like you know we didn't even have I don't think we even had an open mode yet, like three years back ago. In, so. Back in our day, we didn't even have randomized swords yet. That's, <laughs> <Nope>. how, <laughs> that's how like how far this game has come, and it's just awesome seeing uh, such talent come in here and get rewarded for it too. That's uh, one thing that I'm super happy to see is the with the SG Live event and everything that we're getting some more actual like concrete representation on stuff here and it's really good to see so uh yeah keep on keep on expanding uh randomizers and yeah let's see where we go with it okay sounds good so um sounds good to me so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign off on my end this has been slim kirby uh gamer cow thank you very much for commentating this with me it was a lot of fun and uh let's see how crazy this uh tournament ends up tomorrow yeah there's absolute blast to come to you as well, Slim. Uh, I know we haven't done too many of these in the past, so it's great to uh, great to finally get to do that. And mm -hmm. yeah, take care, everyone. Yep. Later, everyone. <laughs>